All the music for all three records was recorded and written around the same time, and then put out a year apart as to uh, my record company Frontier's plan. I guess because most people don't do it that way, they, they write a record and then they put it out and then they begin writing another one. I'm happy to be finished. I really enjoyed the project. It was fantastic to work with so many great musicians and have uh, so much input as to the songs and, and the musical production. I really enjoyed working on that. But like with all projects, it's, you know, you're ready finally to move on to something new because your mind starts thinking in different ways, you know? I kind of gave up trying to guess what people like a long time ago. I think if you spend so much time trying to figure out what different people like, you'll spend no time figuring out what you like. And as an artist and as a music writer, you have to kind of follow what's interesting to you. That's what it's about, you know? For me, at least, I'm making music for myself and for what I like. I'm sharing it with the world. I'm not making it for the world, you know? I was playing with Avantasia, and um, so I went out to the site early to watch uh, my friend Ronnie's band, uh, Pretty Maids, play, because I'd never seen them play live before, and found out that Queensryche was on the bill. I didn't have any idea. So uh, while I was there, I said hi to the guys. It's the first time we'd spoken since 2012, I think, something like that. So that was kind of interesting and different, but uh, it made the news, huh? <laughs> Queensryche, we were always kind of doing things our own way. Like even when we uh, started out, we never played live until we had a record deal and, and then we played live. So uh, that was really unheard of, you know, most people didn't do that. We were on the cutting edge of a lot of technology development, uh, live performance uh, media. We were the first band ever to uh, participate in an internet broadcast. We had, you know, separate management and record company involvement. Uh, we had agreements with our record company, you know, they they didn't tell us how to make music and we didn't tell them how to sell records, you know, that kind of thing. And that worked really well for a long time, you know. I don't really have too many regrets other than perhaps financially I wish I would have invested in Microsoft earlier on, <laughs> you know. I've probably been taking a little stress off, you know, to be financially independent. I'm very involved with my winery. Um, we have a, a, a company called Insania, and we make a Pinot Noir based uh, red wine and a Pinot Grigio on the white wine. It's made in near France, German border, Alsace area. I want it to be of a certain quality and I want it to have a, um, a certain level of sameness about each vintage, you know, which is very challenging to do because every year the vintage is different, you know, because the weather conditions are different. And, you know, you, you try to get the best quality uh, wine out of the grapes that you have to harvest, you know. And uh, it's, it's not like a, a corporation where a machine makes it all and it stamps it out. This is all handmade product, you know. So it's, uh, it's different and unique. Every year we have a big harvest festival in October and uh, I typically show up at the winery and pick a lot of grapes and 
and then we play music and uh, drink and eat a lot and uh, have some famous musician friends that pop by every year and get involved and uh, it's very fun. My memory of it was that uh, we were Queensryche and Iron Maiden and uh, Rob Halford's solo project, Halford, were all touring together in the United States. And we were at a some golf club having dinner in a very nice restaurant, and it was an Italian restaurant. We're all sitting around telling road stories, drinking and eating a lot and uh, laughing. And uh, I remember Rod Smallwood. Uh, called the waiter over and asked him, what, what's this music we're hearing on the stereo here? And the waiter says, oh, it's, it's opera music. That's the, uh, the three tenors. And uh, Rod started laughing uncontrollably and stood up with his wine glass and said, I'd like to make a toast. I think that, that Rob and Bruce and Jeff should form a band and we'll call it the Three Tremors. <laughs> and we all laughed and toasted and thought it was a funny idea. But that's all that ever happened. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't talked with him in years. Last I heard, he, he wasn't really involved with music, you know? I, I never say never about things, because life has a way of swinging you around to some strange point that you never thought you'd be in. Um, I can't imagine that that would happen, but uh, I'd never say never. <laughs>